This is 1010 Wins, New York. Good morning, 51 degrees at 8 o'clock, Real Field 42. It's Monday, October 3rd. I'm Lee Harris. Here's what's happening. So, I'm going to Newark today with Sherry. It's a big day. I'm just waking up now, eating my bagel, and I still gotta get ready. I still gotta get dressed. It's really cold outside today. I'm like halfway to the station. It is so damn cold and so windy that I'm literally tearing up because the wind against my face is ugh. Well, I got to the station about 20 minutes early, so I guess I'll be chilling here until my train comes, head to Newark Broad Street. Seems like I'm the only person here. All right, I'm walking towards downtown Newark right now. I'm heading towards Penn Station so I can meet up with Chris. It's already raining down here, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but we're gonna make it work. I mean, a little rain never stopped us from doing anything. We finally made it into Penn Station. Chris is just pulling up right now. All right, so now that we are linked up with Chris Sherry, we're gonna go get some lunch, even though it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, lunch at McDonald's, and discuss where we're gonna end up going today. We made it off the bus. We are now somewhere in South Broad Street area. The brick city. The road back here is partially brick and then the rest is just asphalt. This area is completely foreign to me. Never been here before. And it's still really freaking cold. Okay. Maybe it's the flannel. Well, this has been a pretty cool spot so far. A lot of big, wide open areas. This is probably a warehouse or a factory of some sort, oh, yeah, right but there. there is a little bit of fire damage and we're trying to go up to this part, which doesn't look like it's fire damaged at all. So, all right, let's keep going. happened we just heard voices coming from the other side i think that might be the active we did not find a way to get up into the rest of the building but this area is still really really big there was a lot of good shots to see big open warehouse space i love the way this ceiling looks this is actually the best part <laughs> Even though the rest of it is still pretty cool, this is like the nice, clean, big, open area. It's a good, uh, good grand entrance to the rest of the property. Absolutely. All right, well now we are walking away from that location. We're walking towards another location of section of abandoned apartment complex in lower newark i don't even know what ward it is it's like by the airport it's like literally right next to the airport we're gonna head there it's gonna be like a 20 30 minute walk until we get there so i hope this is worth it <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, we came to this place too late. It's being fucking demolished. The whole super block is gone. Fuck. Shit. Park down in Newark. Holy cow! This is uh, this is we hua we ah This is the high school that closed down. I think in 2020, based on all of those PSAT books and stuff like that, they had copyright dates of 2020 on them. But like, this is a really big high school. I'm surprised it closed. We're gonna keep looking around the perimeter of the school, try and find a way in. The lights are on inside, so we don't know what the situation's looking like. That's the front office. Like, I got spooked. The lights are on. It looks like it, like a, a high school. Shit. It's like it's real, but... Well, we made it on the bus. I'm trying to book it right now. We'll, we'll see if we're successful. I got a new portable charger recently and didn't know that this thing, even though it charges through USB-C, doesn't take my USB-C Apple wire. So we gotta walk over to the dollar store. I'm gonna try and find a charging wire to charge my phone because I'm at 10%. What's the brand of this name, Hubbard? Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, well, that's a good thing because fuck this brand. We don't even wanna know what it is. How do you only have an input USB-C and then output USB-A or B? It's like, come on. Well, since I'm in the window with some fantastic lighting, even though it's pouring right now, right now we're still chilling here in the apartments. Sherry's on the phone with Jesse Merritt. We're thinking about going to Roseville. Pretty sure we're gonna end up going there, rooftoping there, really fucking raining right now. But we will go to Roseville just to check it out. We always go to Roseville, we love Roseville. That was Jesse. <laughs> Jesse was great. We're at the Four Corners and it is very, very busy right now. It's around 3.30. It's really busy. We are headed to the light rail station so we can take that to Orange Street and then we're gonna walk the rest of the way to Roseville. Mark my words, we'll be at Roseville within, I don't know. Turn it off, man. Territory of the guard dog. Just gotta be careful. Be quiet. There is a guard dog here. Never seen him before. Never seen a dog here before. 
right now we're making the 12 story ascent up the Genesis Tower staircase. This is uh, this has always been the toughest part. It's been going up this damn staircase. We made it to the top of the Roseville Genesis Towers. Love this fucking view. It never gets old. I mean. All right, so we just finished up at Roseville. We just enjoyed the fucking lovely view. It's windy and rainy as shit, but we had this thing to cover us up. But now we're going over to the Ironside area of Newark. So we got to head way across town. I thought at first you were gonna say enjoying the beautiful weather. Like, that's bullshit. So, basically, Cherry forgot earlier about mentioning there were two guys on the side of the road when we were walking towards the abandoned apartment complex that got flattened that there were two guys that threatened him to punch him in the face because he wasn't looking up even though I was looking down and he was looking up. <laughs> they were talking to him threatening to punch him in the face for whatever reason. So they don't even play guys. hockey. Alright, so we are at the halfway point to get to the location we're trying to get to, but I wanted to start vlogging because look at this fucking garbage patch that's on the Passaic. I think they're cleaning it up here, but this is, I've never seen it like this. Last time I came here, time lapse, it was not like this. You just did this to me. It's you fucking, fucking gone. Dick. Aiden's a cocksucker. It's fucking gone. I didn't want to even walk this. I knew something would be wrong. Well, that's a fucking disappointment that we walked all the way out here. I mean, the Riverview walk is great. Don't get me wrong, but fuck. I guess now it's time to go get some dinner. I want dinner because I'm tired and I'm cranky. Well, I just picked up Chipotle. We are now on the way to Broad Street. I'm literally dripping from my hat right now because it's actually pouring out. But we'll make it back to Broad Street Station. We will. We made it all the way to Broad Street. Holy cow, what a walk, but I'm so glad we're here. Train's coming in a few minutes. Made it on the train. This is absolutely delicious. We just made it back to Montclair. We're gonna go hang out with a bunch of our friends that are here. Some of our friends from Ramsey are here. We're gonna end the vlog here because holy shit, that was a day of journeying, traveling, all that fun shit. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Much love. And it was a great day, obviously. The end was a little tough. Night. <laughs>